Hello, my name is Castro Place, and welcome to five structures that should be in Minecraft. Mojang has really focused on exploration recently, so many new ways to explore have been added. I've come up with five ideas that could really work in the game to encourage exploration. Let's get started. First up, the Ice Fortress. This is a stronghold that would spawn rarely in a snowy tundra or taiga biome. It would be pretty imposing to see on the horizon. Inside, you'll find a mysterious sorcerer, the Illusioner. Now, the Illusioner is an unimplemented mob from 1.11, and it has some scary attack patterns. It's quite a cool mob, so I believe it needs a home here. Loot-wise, I'm thinking something ice-related, like a staff to freeze your enemies temporarily. Once you defeat the Illusioner, you can head upstairs to find a witch, ready to finish you off if you're not careful. Kill it, and you have access to the loot. Now, this could contain anything. Diamonds, iron, or even blocks to access a new dimension. Now, downstairs is a whole nother story. Down there, you'll find a terrible sight. A den full of strays. Evil cold biome skeletons, ready to turn you into a pincushion. Anyway, that's just about it for the Ice Fortress. Let me know what you think of this suggestion and all the others in the comments down below. Next up, we have the Witch's Tree. This would have gone hand in hand with the Swamp Biome update if it had been chosen at Minecon. But I still think it would work great anyway, as a new structure in jungles and swamps. This will not replace the Witch Hut, but work alongside it. Inside, we find an interesting scene. As you can see, the Witches have many spellbooks and some potion making tools. But what your eye is immediately drawn to is the Villager in the Pot. Now, I don't know what Baba Yaga and Mrs. Flowerpot are doing with Harold here, but it's definitely not good. Sorry, Harold. As far as Luke is concerned, the tree and villager are pretty good. But, sand could hold unbrewable potions. Or this planter could have a plant found nowhere else to be used in an immensely powerful potion. I personally think that this would be a great addition for everyone to enjoy. Except Harold. <sighs> Moving on from the Villager Stew, we have a trading post. Ever wonder where the wandering trader gets his wares? Or where he disappears to after the transactions? I like to think it's here, inside the trading post. Here, traders barter their goods with each other, purchase new llamas after unkind players murder the helpless animals, and rest up to prepare for their next journey. With the addition of the structure, huge changes could be made to the trader. Instead of randomly appearing in your face, they could travel from these posts, making them a very common spawn. Farfetched? Yep. Super cool? Totally. <sighs> Next up, we have the Ruined Tower. This would spawn in biomes like mountains and hills and would make a great early game find. Why? Inside, you'll find a set of chain armor and an iron sword that could perhaps have some new enchantments. Now, this tower seems a bit insignificant compared to the other builds in this video, and it kinda is structure-wise. But this contributes a lot to the lore of Minecraft, alluding to some long-lost civilization that built these abandoned outposts. Could these be the same ones to sail the end, killing the dragons along the way? Are they the ones who built the temples, promising treasure to brave adventurers? I don't know. But I do know that this structure should be in Minecraft. <sighs> Finally, we are in the Nether, to explore a concept I came up with after Minecon Live 2019. During the show, Yens and Agnes announced an update to the Nether, promising new blocks and mobs. One of these mobs, the Piglet, appears to be a less friendly version of the villager. It was announced that they would hoard gold, but no place to hoard it was shown. So I came up with this rough idea of a Piglin settlement. Since no sap shots with piglins or any new blocks have been produced, I've been forced to use substitutions. Any wood you see will be from the new Netherwort Forest, along with other blocks to form the roofs and walls. But the concept is the same. These settlements have enough gold to tempt even the most careful players. As well as this building, other houses will be around too, and some pens for the piglin beast. I think that something like this should come alongside the Nether update. Anyway. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you enjoyed, leave a like, and to see more, make sure to subscribe. This is Kestrel, signing off. Bye!